Hey everybody, hello, how are you doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day week. I've got on my, I got it from Timu, but I've been telling people I got it from Ireland, my shamrock sweater. And then I laugh when I tell them I got it from Ireland and then they go, you got that from Timu, didn't you? They, everybody at work knows me way too well. We got the hat we get the McDonald's fries. They have nothing to do with St. Patrick's Day, but we like them. And um, that's about it. We got some clover earrings on. Same one. I've, same ones I've been wearing since I don't know when. I do take them off at night. I just put them back on in the morning. Okay, I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. Here's what happened. Okay, <laughs> we got this giant thing, and then we got this huge bag behind me. And both of these are one. This is a Timu sponsored haul today. Now Timu provided all these items in exchange for this my honest video review and the category I chose and so if you become a Timu influencer and if you're interested you don't have to have a huge following at all just click the link below I like if you look in the description of this video you'll see my usual link to download the Timu app if you've never if you want to use that, that would be great. I, I get five bucks and you get a $100 coupon bundle. And then you'll see my discount code also. But then if you keep scrolling down, you'll see Become a Timu Influencer here. And you'll see a link. You can click that link and fill out the form and apply. And it's really easy. And yeah, and it's fun. And then you end up getting stuff like this. So then when you do it, when you are an influencer, a Timu influencer. I laugh when I use that word to, as it pertains to myself because I don't feel like an influencer. You, They give you different campaigns from which to pick. And then within those campaigns, there's lists of items that you can review. Or you can click a different tab and specifically search for very specific items and add those to your cart as well. But it's tedious and, and hard. Okay, so I picked the campaign Weird Timu. And I was kind of like, Timu, we've been doing weird on this channel though forever. But anyway, what? My very professional studio light fell down. Oh, well, my head's cut off. Is everything okay? Is it okay? Are you okay? How was your day? My day was okay. I went to work. I did the thing. I came home. Yay. I slept all weekend. I'm sorry I didn't put a video out this weekend. That um, daylight savings, you guys, really messes me up. I don't know about you, but... Oh, gosh, it just, it messes me up. Why can't they just leave the time alone? All right, let's get on with this haul. So this haul, weird things, and it's moving my very professional studio around. <laughs> Scoot this around. Look at these bags. I can't even move. Let's just take the first thing out and try to get one bag out of our life, okay? What the heck is this? I hope all of you guys are doing well or good, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing something, I hope you're doing it well, or I hope you're feeling good. Okay, um, I, I do have a trash bag right here, so I'm very proud of myself. And just excuse my flat hair. Like, my hair, I just, I need a haircut. I either need a haircut or... um. I need something. I need Jesus in my life a little bit more. And I desperately need to um, get some product in my hair. And I can already tell we're going to lose this dang thumbnail again because it's wobbling around. Now, I carried this bag up the stairs and it split open and everything fell out. So, I tried my best to put it all back in. But I don't know. Ooh, it looks disgusting. What is this thing that looks disgusting? So, yeah, if you look in my description below, you'll find all the Timu things that I'm supposed to tell you about in this video. And 
You guys know what Timu is. If you don't, you might have wandered here on accident. If you're new here, thanks for being new. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. And if you're new, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. We're creeping towards 13,000 subscribers. That's fun. So what the heck is this? This is a blanket that looks like a giant chocolate chip cookie. I don't, or does it look like skin cancer? I don't know, Timu. I really don't know. I've got some questionable moles that I need to get looked at that look a little bit like this blanket, though. So, I imagine it's so big, you guys, that I can't get it. It's making me look like I have five chins. I gotta stick my neck out like this. I bought a little thing on Timu today that holds your neck. It clamps down here and then it's got a thing here and it holds your neck like this all day while you're working. I can't wait. Heck yes, I'm sitting at my desk with that thing on. Okay, um, so one side is white and the other side is supposed to look like a cookie, but I just feel like you guys aren't getting the full effect of it because I can't get the whole thing in the frame. It's so big, you guys. It's like the big, or is it a tortilla? You know what? Now would be a good time for me to look at my list and see if it's a really messed up tortilla or a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, stick out neck. Okay, one piece warm and cozy flannel cookie blanket for couch bed and sofa and I got the 180 times 180 centimeters I don't know $15.79 oh okay so Timu gave me an allowance of $225 or I spent $226 dollars and 20 cents of Timu's money on this haul so I don't know what they gave me but I mean I spent 226 of it on I've got an I've got an allowance of like 975 bucks or something in my seating balance so ew you guys I don't know though it's kind of nasty looking I mean I wouldn't put it out for company or anything I don't know what you would do with it it just really reminds me that I need to call my dermatologist it's giving me the creeps and I'm sorry where Timu you tried with the cookie blanket Timu but I'm putting that over there and I don't I don't know what's going to happen with the of that with the destiny of that thing is going to be and now I need a drink of water wait where's my full well it doesn't matter oh, let's all take a just a, a breath for a moment and hydrate I was bummed because there's a handsome man at work that I like, that I like, <laughs> that I always kind of have my eye on. I don't know if he's single or not. He works in a totally different, like, part of the campus. So I rarely see him, but every once in a while I cross paths with him. He doesn't have a ring, but not many of them do these days. I mean, you can't say, oh, he doesn't have a ring. He must be single. No. But um, I ran into him today looking like this, and I just was like, oh, man, with the hair, the flattest it could be. This is a Michael Jackson outfit. I'm just kidding. This is not a Michael Jackson costume. This is a 70s disco style accessories set, including sequins, hat, sunglasses, and more. All right, let's see. And it was, oh wait, and it was, did I tell you that the blanket was $15.79? Okay, and then this disco style accessory set is $7.49 and it's got a, right, let's see, it's got a hat that looks like a disco ball or something. Well, I mean, it's got more oomph than a lot of the hats I put on. 
<laughs> that looks, that doesn't, I don't think that's my best look. And then it's got, scoot it over here a little bit. Man, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone tonight. It's so weird. I don't, everything is weird. Okay, it comes with this. What is this? A bracelet? A necklace? Get it open. What am I, what would I do with this? I think I basically picked everything on the list. Because I was like, well, I got all this money and... Okay, so here's your disco ball necklace. No, my thumbnails are going to come off. Disco, disco duck. You know what, U.S.? I don't want to put this on. Okay, here it is. I still have my happy pill necklace on that I did not get from Timu. I got it from HRH Collection. Okay, so it comes with a little disco ball necklace. And then it comes with a pair of disco ball earrings. Which, don't use your monitor as a mirror. I can't help it. I got. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Okay, no, I don't want to take out my my nice earrings and put these. <laughs> Try to shove this in the same hole. Now that just sounded dirty. Okay, and someone told me they did that. Is it Adrienne Miller who said she used to wear a lot of earrings in one, the same hole? Ooh, ouch. Well, anyway, I don't want to do that to my holes. Okay, but there's what it would look like if I had it in my ear. That's shiny. I mean, I, can, I like the earrings, of course. The earrings are fine. I'm going to put these over here. And then it comes with some sunglasses. Am I even recording? Okay, that would have been a shame if I had forgotten to hit record. Okay, so then you get these. <laughs> Close up, they've got some stars up in the corner, some little round, and then some round little rhinestone. Yeah. Here, okay, pose for a thumbnail. Ooh, man, I'm just not that. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, don't laugh. Stick it. Okay, go like this. Okay, now what? What do I say? Cheese. Um, just, yeah, thumbs up. Okay, I don't know, you guys. Okay, so the sunglasses are, you know, fine. Wow, my hair is staticky when I do that, huh? Look at it. Help me. I can't. I hate staticky hair. The best way to get rid of that is to spray some hairspray in your hairbrush and then brush your hair and get the static out. Or you can use some... Woo! Or you can use some static guard. All right, put this down in here too. And then, all right, we got some glasses on our head. We got this... Oh, for a minute, I thought I was... That's just the light hitting my hair. For a minute, I thought I was missing all that hair there. And I was about to go, no. The hat um, can go over there with the cookie. And these can all go in here. And that was fun. For $7.49. Okay, the next thing is... I don't remember ordering any of this stuff. A canvas... Ooh. And it is a creepy doll sitting in a rocking chair. Now, the light isn't helping. The glare isn't really helping a little bit, but there she is. All right. I mean, what would you do with that, <laughs> really, though? I mean... Looks like, are those faces behind her in the wall, too? Or it's just, get this out of the way. That made it worse. Here, turn it to the side for a minute. There, point it up. Okay, I don't know. That's the best I can do. There she is with all her, she reminds me of somebody, and I can't put my finger on it. She looks exactly like somebody, and I don't know. I don't know who. 
Ooh, I look like a ghost. Put the beauty mirror back on. Okay. Oh, I could've, you know, would it have killed me to put a little concealer on before this? Under my eyes. All right, that doll um, thing. One piece haunted doll print picture, creepy art print, home decor, weird, and, and then it cuts off um, $4.49 for that. That's, okay, I'm gonna, Timu, it's my honest review, that is a little expensive for that thing. Put this tube in there. Okay, the next thing we have in here is a, I'm just trying to get one of these giant bags out of my life, is a box. And yeah, I mean, I think I just cruised down the list of everything in this campaign and just threw everything in my car. Heart. This speaking of disco, now I might have searched for disco. I might have still been on a disco ball kick because here are a couple of red disco cherries to go with my disco fruit collection. And then, oh, that was a bad sound. And then here are the stems that I guess you kind of, well, because it's just styrofoam with little, so I guess you just stick the stems. In there, kind of. Okay, and then turn it around. All right, hey, I like your, oh, how can I take a thumbnail pic with this thing in the way, and this, and this, hold on a minute. Well, that's not a good place to hold them, excuse me, I'm sorry about that, oh, wait a minute. Well, these are kind of nifty, I mean, for decoration, if you're having a party, like a I don't know what the theme would be, like a disco party, and you get the disco ball, and you get the disco banana, and then you get some disco cherries, cheese, and then you get your disco glasses, and um, here, I'll put those on. Be really careful. Everything's so delicate. Cheese. That's a stupid thumbnail. All right, so disco cherries are, um, why, where am I gonna put though? This is why sometimes I have an existential crisis, like depths of depression, because where do I put stuff like this? $14.99 for these. Now they are a good size. Each one is about the size of, you know, a handful. They're not small. They have one leaf, which is sort of annoying between the two of them. I don't know if that's what real cherries on a stem look like or not, but put them over there by the disco hat. I feel despair. Like, where do I put those? What do I do with them? Uh, all right, the next thing in here is a box. And, let me get my scissors out of the way. I don't know why I feel a little bit dizzy. Probably just because the disco cherries stress me out a little bit. Just reminded me of all the meaningless stuff I have in my life right now, these days, thanks to, you know, our friends at TMU. <laughs> Who filled my life with so many things I didn't know I needed. Okay, this is another one of those balloon dogs, except it's not a balloon dog. It is a banana dog. Ew, man, its feet look really realistic, don't they? Now I kind of want a banana. Fortunately, we have some downstairs. Wow, and so do the ends. 
look realistic. That is creepily realistic banana dog. And I'm still wearing these janky fingernails. <laughs> By the way, cheese. And um, this banana dog is going to go next to my... Okay, that will go over there across the room next to my balloon dog that has got graffiti all over it or whatever. So, okay, that doesn't cause me to feel any stress. I can breathe a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I can breathe. Um, banana dog is $16.29. That's a lot. That's a lot of money for a banana dog. And did I, or the, the cherry, everything is a little bit pricey, isn't it? Timu. All right, I'm trying to get, I have a bad feeling. Hold on, bear with me while I, while I, I've already, I'm already filling up this garbage bag with all the styrofoam and the boxes and the everything else. Okay, what what's next? I can't wait. The next thing is something like this. And it is, wait, I need another drink of water. Can you feel my anxiety level in this, in this video? I'm trying to put my finger, where did I put my bottle of water? I'm trying to put my finger on exactly why my anxiety level is so high. It has nothing to do with the Timu sponsored video. I think it's just. Because yeah, this stuff is weird. And you know, I buy a lot of weird stuff, but I've never been forced to buy weird stuff. Not forced, like a, you know, knife point or something, but you know, I've never been commanded, not commanded. If I, well, yeah, kind of. I mean, this is like a Timu. Maybe that is why I feel kind of anxious because this is like a Timu sponsored haul and I pick the weird category and I pick these weird things and I like weird things. So this is, these are pizza socks. Now, I think this is a cute gift to give to somebody you don't know very well for their birthday. Like, I'm being serious. Like, for their birthday or for whatever. And it comes so... I, I We have to look at the socks. But, I mean, the box is cute. It is sealed. So, let me open the box. But, pizza socks. Especially if you're getting something for, like, a dude... Just get him some pizza socks. Men are hard to shop for. It probably and get get him some pizza socks with a real pizza though, because well that, that's just precious right there. All right, so they're all rolled up, and they even have this little thing that comes when you. What do you call? I don't know what this thing is called, but it keeps the box from getting in the topping. So. You get one, two, three, four, five, six slices and hold up my pizza <laughs> and smile. Okay. And then let's see how this works. So we just take out a slice. Okay. We take out a slice. Oh, wait a minute. The socks are small in here. All right. Here's the slice. So then what, the crust is what, though? We'll just hold up. Now, I'm not going to be able to fold this back, which kind of, okay, so one, one, I don't know why I wanted to count it. Okay, I get it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get three pairs of socks. Now, these have pepperoni on them. Now, there are others, though. That ha so, okay, there are two with pepperoni on them. There are two with, here's another, here's one. I'm going to have to take apart all of these little slices and never be able to fold them back again. Um, I don't know what that is, bacon and pineapple or something, or bacon and 
spinach or bacon in something. And then this pear is, <laughs> it feels so surreal. Hot dogs, eggs, bacon, and like a soft drink and some green stuff. I don't know. But then my question is, what do you, what is this? Like, is this, a, what does this become? Anything? Do you do something with this? What a waste of material. I mean, you could use this as a headband or something or a necklace, a neck, a belt. I don't know. Cause can, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, it's another pair of socks. Oh my gosh, it's another pair of socks. These are just like, got some brown groovy design and then you've got, you can use these as ponytail holders. Wow, this is exciting <laughs> to me. Okay, here's another. Okay, all right. So in all, you get one, two, Wait, what have I done? One, two, three, four pairs of socks and a couple of, you know, scrunchies or whatever you want to use these for. Now I've totally ruined my pizza that I can never, ever, ever, ever get back to the way it was before. But that's my favorite. I mean, so far, the banana dog is kind of like a favorite thing, but it's a little creepy. Like, the more, like, the realism in that banana dog is creeping me out a little bit. It's got, what do you call it? Uncanny Valley, except with bananas. And, um, but so far, the unisex, crazy pizza pattern, novelty socks, creative fashion crew socks, couple socks, Holy cow, guess how much that costs, though? $15.39 for four pairs of mix and match socks. $15.39. I mean, it's cute and everything. Wait till it's a lightning deal. I'm sorry. Or, or it is a cool gift, though. I like that as a gift with a real pizza. I think that would be really cute to like give it to your boyfriend or your man friend or your, you know, partner or your significant other, whatever word you choose. And um, with a real pizza and then the socks. Oh, and then I got some giant pencils because I thought these would be fun to take to work. The next time somebody's like, does anybody have a pencil? I want to just open up my desk and go drawer, my desk drawer, not my entire desk, and say, I do. If I can, ooh, oh my gosh, that's real lead. Holy cow, that is a, that is a real eraser. This is a gigantic pencil. Hey, everybody, what's going on? All right, so... Three pieces, large pencils, large, giant pencils. Here's the eraser. Here's the big lead tip. Bow, 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 bow. That is, what is it? Does it say something on the side? I don't know. Um, $10.49 for three giant pencils. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the office supply um, closet and I'm just going to put these with the pets, with the, um, with the pretzels is what I almost said with the pencils. Cause I really don't, if they were gigantic pens, I was at Dollar Tree and I saw some huge Sharpies and I bought one and um, that made me really excited. But pencils, I don't know, like I haven't used a pencil since school or something. Like I can't remember when the last time I used a pencil was. All right, the next thing is a pair of 
um, cartoon crocodile socks, cute and funny knit mid tube socks for women. <laughs> All right. Um, so the thing about these is that you put, okay, you put your feet, let me get this hand. Okay. You put your feet in here. So then on your leg, it looks like this, like, like, and then for, let's say there's a shoe. <laughs> Look at me telling y'all how socks work. <laughs> and then there's a shoe that goes right here. And then it looks like the crocodile is half-heartedly eating your leg. And there are two of those and they are $7.49 a pair. Yeah. Okay. I picked those. At least uh, they're warm and cozy for your feet. Okay, the next thing in here, speaking of reptiles, I think. Now, I didn't mean to get this, and I put it, wait, I, if this is what I think it is, I don't know. Hold on, let me first get, what is this? Okay, this, I want to get this, I want to give this to my mom as a joke anyway, so... In fact, I've been wanting to get this for a long time, since like the beginning of Timu time when it first started showing up in my feed. It is a pizza cutter that looks like a, looks like a hatchet. And yeah, man, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's a cool pizza cutter. Right up, now I really want some pizza now. So the pizza, one piece created pizza knife with bamboo handle. $2.99, the first reasonably priced thing we've seen tonight. I'm sorry, Timu, you want my honest opinion. You got it. Everything in this so far has been a hecka, exp hecka expensive. Okay, nice, nice handle. Nice for cutting pizza. You can get it in red or you can get it in black. Well, you don't get to choose. They send you a random color. And once again, I'm noticing that I'm not getting any of this stuff in swanky, fancy Timu bags. That breaks my fake Botox. Okay, the next thing in here is... Oh, I spoke too soon. Wait, there's nothing in here, though. Okay, this is complete, <laughs> completely empty. They just throw, they just threw a token one in. It's like they could read my mind. All right, next in here, and then we got this, this thing back behind me. Is something that I can't get out of the bag. Oh, orange. It's so nice to see the color orange again. Do you guys want to help me? Um, so there's this person that I love to watch, right? And um, she's got a YouTube channel. She has nothing to do with Timu, nothing to do with hauls at all. She's just a normal woman who just every day gets on YouTube and talks about what happened in her day and just really detailed, just talks about her day as if she were talking to a friend. And it's just like, I, I really love her channel because it's just so, I just put it on and she, she just talks for like 40 minutes, about 20, 30, 40 minutes about what went on that day and all of this. And her name is Francesca Poem, and it's F-R-A-N-C-E-S-C-A -E Poem, and she's got about 300 subscribers, 
and she was talking the other day and she said she was talking and she says oh and if you happen to want to share my channel on facebook i'd love to get a few more subscribers and i was kind of giggling thinking well honey you should be careful what you ask for because some of us could get you a few more subscribers like if you really want a few more subscribers so like i'd love it if you guys could check out her channel now she might she gets a little spicy like because she she is 50 she's in her 50 i want to say she's like 50 five six seven or 55 56 57 and she's active on dating sites and she talks about her dates her bad dates that she goes on and she just joined a singles group see i'm all wrapped up in her life and i don't even know this woman it's like a bad parasocial relationship i know way too much about this woman's life because she talks about it every night and while she walks her dog or while she's driving home now i don't condone i don't condone making videos while you're driving but you know to each his or her own but um yeah i'm going to pin her channel i'm going to pin her channel in comments and also put it in my description and if you feel like hopping over there and just subscribing and turning the bell off or just subscribing and checking her out. She might not be your cup of tea or you know, she might, but don't, please don't go over there and go, hey, everybody sent me because she doesn't even know this world exists right here. Like she doesn't, she doesn't strike me as the type who watches haul channels or anything like that. So it would mean nothing if you were like, hey, everybody sent me the way sometimes you guys usually do. Don't do that. Just pop on over and subscribe and let's see if she can, let's see if we can make her be like, what the hell? Like, let's blow up her channel with love and see what happens and just watch her reaction. Okay, so and I, th I think you'll like her. If you like listening to people chat and stuff, what is this thing? Speaking of what, if you like listening to people chat and stuff, I you might like her channel. I listen to it while I'm falling asleep. Okay, this is a, a pillow that looks like a turtle shell. And it I meant to delete this from my cart, but I accidentally deleted the thing underneath it instead. And then I couldn't go back and fix it. So I got stuck with this. Now you can, um, okay. So it's not $19 and 54 cents and the whole, um, so the point of it is you can put it on. I think, wait, wait a minute, you can put it, I think like this, now it might be too, okay, you can, <laughs> help me, jeez, okay, you can put it on, whoa, all right, man, finally, the bust I've been wanting my whole life. Now, wait a second, my glasses are going to get smushed in this. All right, you put, I'm not doing anything untoward. I'm trying to get my, my reading glasses out of here before they get completely smushed. You put this turtle on, and then your whole back has got a pillow strapped to it. And then you just... And you just lean back like this. All right. And then you can just, where's my book? Sit here, prop a book up on your turtle chest, lay back and read. I don't know, man. It's so uncomfortable. Now it's bouncy back here. It's a little bit tight. I feel like I think I'm going to have a panic attack in a minute. Like, it's a little tight and claustrophobic right through here. Okay, for $19.54, it's your wearable turtle shell pillow. It's dawning on me that I might have it on upside down. No, 
So there's the arms and the light. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing off. So just let's just pull it down back here a little bit so it can at least get my lumbar lumbar support going. All right, there. Just leave it. All right. $19.54 for this wearable turtle shell pillow. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's very green. Okay, that's everything that was in this um this bag. Now we get to move on to this. Percy is back there somewhere. Everybody I always get people going, where's Percy? Percy is there he is. Mm. All right, next in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I might have to try to get this turtle thing off without taking off all of my clothes in the process. I should have never put this thing on. I might have to cut myself out of this with these scissors. What would you guys do if I just started hacking away at this? I'm about to do it in a panic. Like if I just freaked out and started going cut... It's the only way I can really see getting out. Like, I just don't know how I can get out now. Okay, we're on to the next bag. And it is 41 minutes and 25 s s Well, now it's 30, 33, 34, 35 seconds. Let me cut down this a little bit. Okay, the next thing in here are just a bunch of really nice Timu bags that are completely empty. Thanks, Timu. Okay. Then we have, I guess this, I guess they just put those in there to show that the sentiment was there. Okay, the next thing in here is, oh, Lord help us. It's vacuum sealed. I do like the sound. Now listen for the whoosh. Wow. Okay. That was a sad, oh, and it even blew open the bag. That was satisfying. Okay, the next... This is, um, okay, this is a big neck pillow with a sleepy cat. Ew, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> centipede creepy centipede neck pillow that you wrap around your neck <laughs> this here could this be a thumbnail if i get these glasses off and put the disco glass cheese okay wait a minute could this be some kind of a thing and then put the disco glasses on? I really kind of like the disco glasses. Me and Percy say, what up? What up? Cheese. All right. So then you got your neck supported. You got your back supported. Let's all just take some deep breaths. And I've got to get this stuff off of me because suddenly I feel like I'm about to start tri really tripping out. Okay, this is this one piece caterpillar plush throw pillow purple worm is $30.99. It's more expensive than this turtle pillow that I have to get I have to get it off I can't get it off I can't oh there goes my nail I don't care take it off I I can't I don't think I can get this thing
this is going to be horrible if I accidentally pull off my whole sweater while I'm doing this. Okay, are clothes still on? Okay, good. <sighs> okay. So anyway, you guys, that's what the back of that looks like. <laughs> this is what the front of it looks like, and this is what the side of it. And so you can kind of see what was happening there with that thing, right? I mean, that, yeah, sure, that's cool. I don't know. I'll probably end up using that again, just in the privacy of my own home. Okay, fingernail came off. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. All right, big giant caterpillar pillow for $30, $30 for this. Okay, now, now that I've got turtle off, let me at least test this as a neck. Oh, yeah. You know, this is pretty cool, though, as a neck pillow. Well, I mean, that's not a good look. That's never a good look for anybody. But yes, it is pretty cool as a neck pillow. All right, next is, I think this is going to be my favorite thing in this haul. And it is a toilet paper roll holder. And it is, I got, of course I got the, did I get the cat? I think I got the cat, but look at how cute you can see it and the glare, the sheep. Maybe I got a sheep. There's a dog. Of Is that a gnome? There's a gnome. Of course. Okay, let's see which one I got. I remember being enchanted by this. And I hope I got the sheep. Like, I kind of want the sheep. As much as you guys know I am a cat lover, I think the sheep would be really cute in the bathroom with all the toilet paper. But I think I got the cat. Or maybe I didn't have a choice and I had to get the dog. I can't remember. It's fine. We have a dog and I love dogs. Alright, so you get... Oh, I got to do it myself. Do it yourself. Oh my gosh, there are screws and stuff in here. Oh, I see a cat head. I got the cat at least. It doesn't look like the cat in the picture. I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to I hate to sound like I have no faith in myself at all, but first of all, this doesn't look like any of the, here are the legs that go down here. Okay, so then you put, and then the head. This, I suppose, I wanted to stand mine on my toilet, not hang it on the wall. But I don't know, or even just put it on the ground. I just don't know how you get this cat's head. Does it just rest on one of the, I don't know. I gotta sit up. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, hold on, let me look at, see, in the way that this thing is set up, I don't know if I can. Okay, one piece toilet paper holder, twenty one forty nine, and I got kitten, and it won't let. It doesn't let me click through. Oh, you can kind of see that little picture right there. So the head goes on the side. Ah, I really should have gotten the sheep. Does it have a tail? Even no. Okay, so the head goes. Oh, look, right here. Oh, we're smart today. We're smart today. All right, there's the head, the cat's head. And then these little legs go down. They 
fill in his little things down here and then he stands up and you put your toilet paper in it and yeah you, you can either hang it on the wall which I'm not going to or set it on the back of your toilet or set it on the floor next to your toilet or do whatever you want with it but it's cute I don't know why I didn't get the sheep I gotta stop, you know, being such a one-track mind, like cat, cat lady like that. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in this box. Oh, the guy, if you caught my last haul, um, the guy at work is good. He was at work today. That guy at work that I told you who had some kind of a... I don't know what happened to him. He had a medical emergency Friday. He was at the hospital for a while. They ran a bunch of tests and kept him for observation and then let him go. I mean, I don't know. That's all I really know. For all I know, there could be something. Like, I don't know him well enough to be like, tell me all about your medical stuff. So all I know is he was at work today and that was good. Okay, so toilet paper holder was $21.49. I like that concept at least. So toilet paper holder, pizza socks, um, turtle pillow. What? The cats might have fun sleeping on that turtle pillow. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. We have a couple things left. And then we are done at 50-something minutes. Okay, the next thing, and I'm not even going to take it out. Well, I should take it out because that's my job. Is a trippy coffee mug and teacup shaped like a face in a hand. But, Ma, we've always had this. Even I couldn't be able to. Even I couldn't be able to pull off the, but mom, we've always had this mug. Okay, is it in one piece? Ooh, it's a little bit creepy for um, $19.49. Here is the mug. <laughs> we've always had this mug. And here is the... Oh my word. Here's the hand that it, you set it in while you're drinking. Would you like some tea? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Okay, all right. You can get them in different colors here. Let me fluff out my dead hair for a minute if I can possibly do it because I really would like this to be my thumbnail we've had a lot of goofy ones cheese hello okay anyway I I really like it I mean the hand and then it's so in the you can put your spoon on the fingers if you got tea, or you can put the tea bag here. Or if you're drinking coffee, you could just hide this somewhere. <laughs> See, I think this is pretty cool to drink coffee out of. It is one set high temperature ceramic creative abstract art hand coffee cup 1949. Does it come with the spoon too? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I was wrong. It comes with a little spoon. Okay. I'm glad they put that in there. I don't know what I would have done. All right, I'm going to put this all back in its ceramic. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to put this all back in its styrofoam. And even the spoon. And 
once again, I just feel like I need a margarita or something. I don't know what it is about these Timu hauls that make me feel like I need some kind of um, libation. Okay. Finally, I think this is the last thing of the weird side of Timu. It's heavy and it should be, unless there's some, now wait a minute, I'm missing some things. Missing something? There must have been one thing that was sold out. Okay, then this is either one thing or another thing and I didn't get one thing. Oh wait, unless something fell out. Remember when I said I was trying to bring it upstairs and something and it all fell out all over the stairs? Oops, it might be down, it might be somewhere on the ground between here and downstairs. Oh well. And this is going to, if I, this is what I think it is, it's going to my niece or somebody as a gift. This has been a wild ride, hasn't it? Got stuck in a turtle shell. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get all this stuff off. I, um, it's a little bit harder than, it's very, very, I mean, you want to talk about wrapping it up very carefully. They really, really wrap this up carefully. Like, they just went, like, I see a styrofoam box over there. Shoot, that might be something. Okay, whatever this is, here's a big shiny box, okay? And inside is... Holy cow! Okay, this is not what I thought it was. I thought this was a hamburger lamp. lamp but I don't have a hamburger lamp anywhere around here. Unless it's it way over there on the floor. This is the epitome of leave me alone. <laughs> I'm engaged. Now, I don't know what you really are supposed, like what, what do you do with it? Okay, it's too big to be a napkin holder. Leave me, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Leave me alone. I'm engaged. Jeez. This is my thumbnail. Now leave me alone. All right. This leave me alone, I'm engaged. It's not called leave me alone, I'm engaged. It's called... One piece, 3.9 inch ring, artificial simulation diamond ring for a mere $29.99. Now what you really do with it, I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of it is unless you just want to set it on the table, like your coffee table right next to your creepy face mug. And be like, oh, don't mind that. That's just my engagement ring. I don't know. All right. Well, so I don't know where. So what we're missing is a hamburger light. And who knows what happened to that. Unless it's in that styrofoam thing right over there. I don't know, you guys. Or maybe they sold out of the hamburger light. Sometimes... If an item is really popular with consume with consumers, with shoppers, then you don't get it as a review thing. But 
I also picked this hamburger nightlight right there, but that was not in. Now, what am I gonna do with this thing? Where am I gonna put this thing? The box it came in is just beautiful. <laughs> it came in a really beautiful gold envelope and they, they wrapped it very, very carefully and I don't know where I'm going to put that thing. I can't believe that thing. It costs $30. I would say that if Timu would just do it a little differently, let me make sure. Yeah, there's nothing in here. If Timu would just do things a little differently and tell the influencers, hey, you know, we put... 300 bucks in your shopping cart. Go nuts, but try to stick to this theme. I think we do. And then just put go nuts all over the whole site. Like, don't just pick these lists of objects that we, from these lists of objects that we have. I think that they'd be pleasantly surprised at some of the hauls that we come up with. But like, because I get weird things on Timu all the time that are affordable and weird. And see, part of me is a little bit bummed because this sponsored Timu haul, like if you guys were to click any of these links and buy any of this stuff, I would get a small commission off of it, but nobody's gonna buy um, these things because they're so expensive and maybe the pizza socks, I don't know. And also they're a little bit weird, but that's okay. Unless you like these crocodile socks or this uncanny valley banana, bananas, banana dog. It's just giving me banana creeps. All right, you guys, that was wild. I feel like we've been through some things together, don't you? I feel like this has been a bonding experience. Percy does too. And... I don't know where I'm going to put this turtle shell and all of this other stuff. I'm, I, I think I'm just going to lie down right here and curl up underneath all this stuff and go to bed. And just wake up in the morning and look up at this coffee mug and see if I can get away with drinking my coffee. Rinsing it out and try to drink my coffee out of it without my roommate, my elderly roommate, noticing it and going, where did that come from? <laughs> All right, you guys, I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my sponsored Timu haul. I get graded on the likes and the views in this instance. So I'd appreciate your thumbs up. It helps Timu choose me to be an influencer yet again. That would be fun. It always is, and I hope that you're having a great evening. It's evening right now, or if you're watching this in the morning or the afternoon or whenever, I hope it's going great, and if it's not, it's almost. You're getting through it. You're getting through it. You're getting through it. You can do it. All right. That was a Darth Vader kiss. Bye, everybody. I will probably see you tomorrow. I have a lot of big bags downstairs still, so I got stuff that I gotta haul. It's my pleasure to haul, and I will see you very soon. Now we say, how do, oh, where are the cats? Um, I don't know. They were here when I got home from work, all over me and stuff, and now they must be sleeping somewhere. So that's interesting that we didn't see the cats this whole time, well, with all the ruckus. All right, I love you guys, and how do I stop this thing?